Hello everyone. Welcome to another video from our channel Prep Easy where your preparation is made easy. Today we are going to tell you a very easy and simple trick to do multiplications very quickly. It is based on Vedic math and can be very helpful in your math class, day-to-day -day calculations and various exams such as SAT, GRE, GMAT. Before moving on, if you like this video, please like, comment and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the notification whenever we upload a new video. It is a very special technique to multiply two numbers using lines based on Vedas. That's why this technique is known as Vedic Math Technique. The concept is very, very simple. Just represent the digits using lines. Yes, you heard it right, using lines. The digit 1 will be represented using one line, the digit 2 using two lines, digit 3 using three lines, and so on. Let's take a few examples. Let's try to multiply 13 with 12 using this trick of lines. We draw slanted lines from left towards the right. Look at the number 13. For the digit 1, we draw one line, then we leave some space, and for digit 3, we draw three lines, 1, 2, and 3. Now look at the number 12. One line for the digit 1, and after leaving some space, two lines for the digit 2, 1 and 2. Once this is done, we separate them into three separate zones where the lines intersect. And then starting with the zone at the extreme right, we count the number of intersections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So six intersections. We write 6 and now we move on to the second zone from right. How many intersections in this zone? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 intersections. So we write 5 here. And now we move on to the last zone. There's just one intersection here. Which is why we write here 1. Well, that's our answer guys. 13 times 12 is 156. Isn't it simple? As you can see, this line technique is very simple. Just draw lines from left to right and count the intersections in each zone from right to left. Let's try another example using the same technique. 12 multiplied by 31. First number is 12, draw one line for 1, leave some space and then draw two lines for 2, 1 and 2. We have to go from left to right, 3 lines for 3, 1, 2 and 3, leave some space and then one line for 1. That gives us three vertical zones and we start with the one on the extreme right. Can you count the number of intersections? Here there are two intersections, one and two. So we write two here. Moving towards the left, this is the second zone. On top, one and at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five and six. So total 7 and what about the last zone? 1, 2 and 3. So we write a 3 under that zone. Well, that's the correct answer. 12 times 31 is 372. Let's take another example by multiplying 13 with 41 using lines. 
So are you ready? Let's draw the lines. The first digit of number 13 is 1. So we draw one line and for the second digit 3, we draw three lines after leaving some space. 1, 2 and 3. For 41, we draw four lines for 4. 1, 2, 3 and 4 and one line for 1. Don't forget in each case we went from left to right and the three vertical zones are ready. We start with the zone at the extreme right and count the number of intersections. 1, 2 and 3. Three intersections. Now for the second zone from the right at the top we can see there is one and at the bottom there are 12 intersections. So total 13 intersections in the second zone. But wait, what do we do when we get two digits under a zone? We simply carry the tens digit over to the column on the left. Yes, that's all. We carry the one over and now if we look at the final zone, there are four intersections. We add the 4 to the 1 that was carried over and that gives us 5. That's the answer. 13 times 41 gives us 533. That was so simple. Draw lines from left to right and count the intersections in each zone from the right. Now you have learned so many examples, you must have mastered this trick. Do you want to try another example? Let's do one more. 22 times 33. Can you quickly do it? First number is 22. Two lines for 2. 1 and 2. Leave some space and two lines for 2. 1 and 2. We have to go from left to right. Three lines for 3. 1, 2 and 3. Leave some space and then three lines for three. One, two and three. This gives us three vertical zones and we start from one on the extreme right. Can you count the number of intersections? There are six here, so we write six. Moving towards the left in the second zone, there are six on the top and six at the bottom. So making a total of 12 intersections in the second zone. What do we do when we have two digits under a zone? We simply carry the tens digit over to the column on the left. The last zone has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We add 6 to the 1 that was carried over and this gives us 7. That's the answer. 22 times 33 is 726. If you got it right, do mention in the comment section below. Okay, now let's move on to the next problem, which is a more complex one. It has three digit number, 211 multiplied by 32. Here, does anything change? Well, not much. The approach is the same, but the number of zones change. Two lines for two, one and two, one line for one, and another line for one. This is two, one, one. What about 32? Three lines for three, one, two and three. And two lines for two, one and two. How many vertical zones do you see here? One, two, three and four. Four vertical zones this time. The process remains unchanged. Starting with a zone at the extreme right. For two intersections, we write a two. Then moving on to the second zone. Two at the top and three at the bottom. 5 in all, third zone has 4 intersections at the top and 3 at the bottom making a total of 7. 
This is the fourth zone which has six intersections. One, two, three, four, five, six. We write a six here and we are done. This is the answer. 211 times 32 gives us 6752. I hope by now you'd be pretty confident of using this technique for multiplication. It gets very tricky when one of the digits is 5 or greater. So this method is suited for numbers which have digits lesser than 5. For example, 55 times 36. Number of intersections would be very tedious in this case. So this method is best when you work with digits lesser than 5. I hope this video will be useful for you. Thank you so much for watching.